Assalamualaikum and peace be upon all of you. I am Abul Faiz. This video will explain about basic information regarding inherent safety. Inherent safety is an approach to safety that focuses on eliminating or reduce the hazards. Furthermore, a process can be declared as inherently safer if it reduces or eliminates the hazards associated with materials or operation compared to a process with only passive, active and procedural safeguard. In addition, the process of identifying and implementing inherent safety in a specific context is known as inherently safer design. Chemical process safety strategies can be grouped into four categories which are inherent, passive, active and procedural. The first three strategies can be characterized as engineering control while the last strategy which is procedural can be characterized as administrative control. The first strategy is inherent. This strategy can totally eliminate or greatly reduce the hazard by changing the process to use materials and conditions that are not hazardous or much less hazardous. Next is passive, which is related to engineering control that could minimize hazards using process or equipment design features which reduce either the frequency or consequences of an incident without the active functioning of any device. Then active is the next strategy. This strategy involves engineering control such as process control system, safety instrumented system and sprinkler system. Last but not least is procedural which is administrative control includes standard operating procedures, safety rules and procedures, operator training, emergency response procedures and management system. Based on previous slide, inherent safety is one of the important strategy for chemical process safety. To discuss in details, there are four elements for strategies in designing inherently safer process. First of all, substitute. This process will use less hazardous materials, chemistry and processes. Then, second element is minimize. This process will use small quantities of hazardous materials or reduce the size of equipment operating under hazardous condition. In addition, third element is moderate. This can be done by reduce hazards by dilution, refrigeration, or process alternative that operate at less hazardous condition. Last but not least, simplify. This process will eliminate unnecessary complexity and design user-friendly plans. As conclusion, manufacturing process designers and operators should consider ISD options throughout the process life cycle from initial conception to research and development, plan design, construction, operation, modification and eventual shutdown. Then, best opportunity to implement ISD occurs early in research and development before significant resources have been expended in process of product development and before a plan has been built. Moreover, we must know that it's never too late and ISD should be considered throughout the process and product life cycle and economic footprint. And lastly, all hazards must be considered so that decisions can be made about conflicting goals and impacts. These are the reference for our discussed topic in this video. That's all for this video. Hopefully, this can be easy reference to all for basic understanding of inherent safety. Thank you.